uh, funding is a big issue with volunteer fire departments right now, and that's part of the volunteering thing where, you know, we've got to do so much fundraising and people don't have a lot of time to do that kind of stuff. So making hoagies tonight to try to pay the light bill and keep some fuel in the truck so we can respond to emergencies. We'd love to find a way to have enough funding just to have some kind of, of, of levelness where we could pay our bills without struggling and also have, you know, the proper apparatus and a little bit newer apparatus so we don't have to worry about going on fire calls and not being able to perform our duty. Uh, we're doing our chocolate covered strawberry fundraiser. Um, this is the second year that we've done it. It's a good fundraiser for us, yeah. It's a lot of work, but it's a really good fundraiser. <laughs> it's hard for the fire service to thrive on just fundraising alone, but we're 75% self-funded, so between the money that we bring in as opposed to what we've, what's brought in through um, municipal taxes and the municipalities that, we, that contract through us for service, um, we still make up about 75% of our budget through fundraising. Fundraising, money, just the money to, to keep the things going. Um, everything costs more every year. It's a lot of specialized equipment, so the prices are higher than, than anything. We do everything we can to make sure we're spending our money wisely. Somebody got new boots here, that's 500 bucks. We might make $500 on a chicken barbecue, so there's a whole chicken barbecue that we spent 10 guys, 12 guys, 24 hours getting ready for and serving one, one purchase. And that's just a pair of boots, you know. It's, it's, it's just that's the, that's the frustrating part is fundraising. If we didn't have to fundraise, things would be a lot different.